Hi everyone, it's Emily. Having a, a versatile wardrobe is a step towards more sustainable style. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through five steps to transition your outfit from day to night. Styling an outfit from day to night is the perfect way to get the most use out of your wardrobe because you're adapting what you already have for multiple occasions. There's really no feeling like being able to shed that workplace persona and then swap that outfit or that look for something sexier and you know you can really let your hair down at night. If you're not sure what a capsule wardrobe is, I'd check out the video link in my bio because it's going to explain what that is and that is a having a capsule wardrobe is a great way to start um, building versatility into your style. A capsule wardrobe gives you the opportunity to mix, match, and rotate different pieces so you can be sophisticated and chic at the office and then sexy chic by night. So here's my thought process when I'm choosing an outfit that I want to transition from day to night. So your base outfit, this is uh, this is what you'll be styling by accessorizing and layering. It's like choosing bread for your sandwich in a way it guides the overall flavor and the shoes, jacket, accessories are all the meat, cheese and condiments that make it yours. So I mean that's a little bit of a stretch for a metaphor but hopefully you get what I mean. So here's a few wardrobe staples that transition easily. Uh, the little black dress, a jumpsuit, any type of skirt, um, a shirt dress or a charmeuse blouse. These pieces can be worn either day or night. And so they're a perfect place to start when trying to pick a base for your outfit. So the next thing that I would consider is the jacket. So blazers are a great place to start. They transition easily from day to night. So they're a great pick. I love a good trench coat or a three quarter coat, which can be worn for day or night. Um, denim or utility jackets are perfect for daytime, but maybe not the office if that's where you're going. So you'll need an option um, also for the evening, a separate option. Leather jackets are pretty much my go-to for, for nighttime. So the next thing to consider is, uh, are your shoes. Um, this is where I'd pick an option that you'll trade for something else in the evening. Options like loafers, ballet flats, or those super cool slip-on loafers. Um, they usually have like a square toe when they're flat. I don't know what they're called. So if anybody knows, let me know. Um, but they, those will come in uh, handy for the office and daytime. Um, sandals or a cute sneaker are great if you can go a little more casual, depending if you're going, you know, out shopping or if you're, you know, at the office. Um, and then at night, I would trade those babies in the evening for something sexier, like a tall boot or a heel to really help you, uh, you know, let down your hair and feel a little more sexier, a little more, um, you know, it's not too, um, what's the word, conservative for, for the daytime and you don't need to think as, about comfort as much. So the next thing is accessories. So I typically opt for simple jewelry for daytime um, and then pile on the, the earrings, bangles, uh, necklaces, rings for the evening. Chunky statement jewelry is probably best for a night. Most of the time, I think there's certain people that can just pull off, you know, the very accessorized, chunky, colorful jewelry during the daytime. And if that's you, then go for it. Um, for me personally, it's just not as comfortable to have a, a ton of jewelry on it, you know, when I'm at work, but I love accessories at night. Um, I love stacking hoop earrings and rings and layering necklaces. And that's a really great way to dress up your outfit. So the last thing is the makeup. So not too revolutionary here, but I'd stick with neutral, simple makeup for daytime to really just highlight your natural features. Less is more here. And then at night, I usually prefer to use like the shimmery eye makeup or higher contrast makeup just to um, really highlight your features um, and really make them pop since you're, you know, it's nighttime, it's dark out. Um, and I also like to opt for more vibrant lipstick. So comment below if this blog helped you or if you have any questions that I could address, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.